I am in rural Vermont. Uh, I'm way up here. Let's show you on the map. I'm closer to Montreal than any big U.S. cities. Uh, you can see New York to the south and Boston to the southeast. Montreal to the north. Uh, let's do a mile log. It's, uh, what do we got? 101,472 miles on the Bronco. Woo, past 100,000. It's 63 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 17 Celsius on a Tuesday morning, early August. Early August. Woo. Now it's about uh, 9.30 in the morning. It's pretty early. But that's still, that's still uh, cool weather. <laughs> They've had a little bit of rain. They've actually had a lot of rain here in Vermont. Catastrophic rainstorms uh, in a couple of areas including Montpelier the capital which uh, I will be getting Nicole and we will visit that that will be the last town we visit here in Vermont or at least on this trip we will be visiting the capital but anyway this is Morrisville Morrisville has got about 2100 people uh, that's how many people live here. 1970 was peak population, had a little over 2,100 people. So, Morrisville has had 2,100 people here for about 50 some years. Median age is 35. So that's younger than the US. The US as a whole is 39. 55% male, 45% female. Let's see, the town is 94% white, 4% Hispanic, 1% black, and uh, the last 1% mixed. I am um, about to turn into downtown, so let's take a look at it. Now, as we head into downtown, I'll tell you the median household income here is 58000 a year. So that's a little over 1100 a week. I think they rely on tourism more than anything here and you can kind of see it in the downtown. I'll uh, get out on foot and show you it a little bit more in detail. I'm just going to do a drive through. This is pretty much it here. Some of the other numbers. Uh, poverty is 15%. Children 17 and under, it's 22%. And for folks 65 and older, it's 17%. That's a little bit higher than the US average on all three. But crime is very low. Last year they had six incidents per 1,000 people. US average is 24 or 23. So their crime here is a quarter what it is in the rest of the US. Anyway, uh, I'm into residential now, so I'm going to turn around and let's take a look at downtown. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do that. I am out on foot. I want to give you a look at this downtown. The entire downtown, by the way, is on the National Register. Uh, I can see why. It's really pretty. Got people uh, inside the buildings getting ready for their day. Yeah, they do a lot of bike rental here. Kayaking. Uh, it's your typical quiet Vermont town. Town of Morristown, chartered 1781, municipal offices.
I guess would that be the uh, city hall? And let's see, looks like post office right here. Pretty nice, isn't it? I'll give you a look from this direction. And then we will uh, go check out some residential. Well, while I'm downtown here, they have a gas station. Let's check prices. $3.89 for a gallon of gas here in uh, north central Vermont. Neighborhoods are really interesting. Uh, the streets. Median home value in this town, by the way, is 220000 So, uh, yeah, that's pretty pricey. A lot of interesting architecture. That is a really interesting looking home. Now, oh, so is the one next door. It's big. That is 86 Congress Street, that house, and it is for sale. What do you guys think they want for that? Keep in mind, this town, median home value, 220000 Well, Somebody looked that up. What do they want for that? All right, let's see. Uh, here is the fire department. Morrisville Fire Department, William H. Town Memorial Building. Oh, there you go. Uh, this is the Grace Brethren Church. Let me swing around and get you a view from the front. Uh, I tried to find out how old it is. Couldn't find anything. Maybe someone can fill in. Uh, but you can tell that's been there a long time. Really rustic, isn't it? All right, so where are they buying their groceries? Hannaford, supermarket and pharmacy. Looks uh, pretty new and modern. I am in Barrie, Vermont. Pretty big town. About 8,500 people here today. Peak population was in 1950. There were 11,000 people. But the city looks pretty nice. Uh, this is downtown. It's lovely, isn't it? Lots of American flags. Very patriotic here. Anyway, uh, let me give you the information on Barry, and then we'll look around. You know, the statistics that I always give you. Median age is 40. 51% female, 49% male. That's the gender breakdown. A little bit of wind kicking in. Anyway, uh, town is 93% white. 2% Hispanic. 1% black, 1% Asian, 1% mixed. They've got a lot of um, sculptures here downtown. Yeah, I guess this is Winnie the Pooh. It's simply called Pooh. But uh, they've got them yeah, littered all over. You can see across the street there. Uh, that looks like a frog. 
It's really nice. They just had a massive flood here. And so you're seeing some cleanup happening. Anyway, let's see. Median household income is $44,000 a year. It's about $850 a week. Poverty is kind of high. I'm a little bit surprised. 24% uh, overall. For children 17 and under, it's 37%. So that is well over twice higher than the U.S. average. For folks 65 and older, it's 25%. And that is high too. Here's another look at a statue. A skiing bear. Ski Vermont, that's what it's called. Crime, a little on the high side, 26 incidents per 1,000 people. The US average is 23. Um, let's see. Barry calls itself the granite center of the world and nearby is a granite deposit that is four miles long and two miles deep. It's called Barry Gray and it is sought the world over because of its resistance to weather. So um, you see a lot of stuff made here with it including I believe this building right here in 1898 but that is the uh, signature berry gray granite this looks like an old house that's tucked in here in downtown built in 1871 it says wow that is an old house <laughs> it's just kind of crammed in between a couple buildings here That is, uh, that is pretty awesome. One of the signature buildings of the town, the Barry Opera House, built in 1899. I think it was a city hall first, and then became Opera House. Right across the street is the Barry Post Office, built in 1911. And it's built with that uh, berry gray granite. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Got an old church here. Universalist. Yeah, you can't miss that coming into town. This is a sign in front of it. It says 1796. I'm not sure if that's when it was built, maybe? That would make it pretty old. Yeah, 1796, the first church in Barrie, Universalist, celebrate diversity here. Here's a statue made with the Vermont granite. Kind of faces downtown, looks to the downtown. Oh, that wind is kicking up a little. Let's see if we can see, or let's see what this says. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not we uh, weary them, nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun. And in the morning we will remember them. That wasn't easy to say. The, uh, that's a lot of traffic in this town. Wow. Anyway, the median home value here is 158,000. Well, I'll have to take a look at these. Show them to you guys. That's an awesome looking house, isn't it? But, um, yeah. What is this, North Street? That's pretty awesome. Purple house. Just really amazing architecture, isn't it? I mean, we look at that. It's a bunch of mailboxes. I guess that's uh, been split up in apartments. That's too bad.
We are in downtown Montpelier. I don't even know what this building is. Erected in 1909, it says. Maybe someone can fill in. Anyway, uh, there's the fire department. How cool, I already got that. There's uh, Nicole. Pretty awesome looking downtown. We're gonna explore it, show it to you guys. Very rustic. Is that how you would describe this downtown? Uh, no, I would describe it as quaint. Quaint? Yeah. Rustic to me sounds like, um, like more rural and. Uh, would, I, don't have any I don't have any cash. Cash, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm just going to give you some shots of downtown. And uh, let's head this way, hon. And I'll tell you about Montpelier. We can go, can't we? I know, but everybody's just sitting here. That's what I'm saying. Why is everybody waiting? Anyway, here we go. Now, as we walk through downtown, you can see evidence of the humongous flood that they had recently there's still some cleanup going on quite a few businesses shut down because of it uh, there's 7900 people here that makes it the smallest US capital city in the country and uh, yeah Montpelier is the capital of Vermont peak population was in 1960 there were 8800 people so it's you know, it's about the same. Um, median age is 48. U.S. average is uh, 38. So that's it's an older town for sure. 54% of the town is female. Versus 46 male. Uh, as we walk through here. Yeah, there's some more cleanup it looks like. It got hit really hard. This town had, it was like two feet deep where we're walking right now. I mean, it was up to your, uh, up to people's waist. I saw pictures. Ew, really? Yeah, right here where we're walking. It was like <laughs> people were walking right here where we are right now. I saw pictures. And uh, yeah, the water was up, up to their waist. Completely flooded it. Uh, wrecked a lot of these uh, buildings and uh, some homes. But anyway, yeah. Look at the other poured up in quite a few places and they've started clean up anyway uh, let's see the town is 92% white 2% Hispanic 1% black 2% Asian last 3% mixed man there's just some awesome buildings yeah we're coming up to the courthouse it is astonishing, isn't it? Yeah, this is um, not only the state capital of Vermont, it's also Montpelier, the uh, county seat for Washington County, named after George Washington. And they don't call it county seat, they call it Shire Town in Vermont. So this is the Shire Town. Um, anyway, this courthouse is built in 1881. Uh, Greek Revival. So, cues from ancient Greece. You can see the columns. What do you think? What does the word Shire mean? Do you know? I don't have to ask a native Vermontan. <laughs> poverty. Super low. 5% <laughs> poverty in this town. For children 17 and under, it's 4%. Uh, people 65 and older, it's 5%. So, very low. Uh, Poverty here, obviously uh, a lot of good incomes, and they are. Here's the uh, median household income here, $71,200 a year, which is uh, pretty high. That's almost $1,400 a week, household income. So people here make a pretty good living. Crime is 21 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23, so a little bit lower. And um, 
one other thing, median home value here is $276,000. So, uh, pretty pricey houses. Now we are walking towards the state capitol building and we're going to tour it. So, uh, yeah, that is where we are heading now. What? We'll be back after a brief intermission. Yeah, Somehow because I don't think it's very brief. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like the storm walloped uh, this building pretty good. Now this is the Christ Episcopal Church, built in 1868. Man, that's been there a long time. Uh, Gothic architecture, and it is built with the Barry Vermont uh, granite, that gray granite that they uh, excavate nearby, that uh, Vermont's famous for. Look at the top again, it looks like the century from an old castle. <laughs> Looks like what? Like the sentry from like an old castle. Well, that's, yeah, it's, it's gothic architecture, honey. That's what it's supposed to look yeah, like. but we don't see that. We don't see that everywhere. I know. It's a pretty awesome building. Uh, here's a downtown business mm -hmm. that got uh, wrecked. It looks like they are uh, trying to fix now. There's from where we started. There is the Capitol Dome right there. We'll head there shortly. It's so shiny. It is shiny. <laughs> uh, just a lot of great sights in this town. Isn't that cool? These apartments. You can tell they've been there a while. Yeah. Um, give you an idea. Well, and let's see, yeah, give you an idea where we're at. I can't hear you, what? Uh, just talking to the camera, but yeah, see, there's that county courthouse right there. Yeah, I like that building. Another, looks like apartment complex here. Is there a apartment building. Truck is just, huh? Is there a while to park there? Apparently so. There they are. Looks like that building was really flooded, didn't it? Yeah. There, uh, I bet you that's a good business to be in when all this happens. Oh yeah. Some beautiful structures down here though. What's this building? I don't know what it is, uh, but it's pretty awesome. Capitol building is... I can't hear you with all the noise. Oh, I was gonna tell you the Capitol building is right here. And, uh, I wonder who's up top. Not sure. So downtown is straight that way. So you just walk out of downtown and you get up to the Capitol building, which is right here. And, um, well, we're going to go into it right now. Especially when you're driving into the downtown area. Um, because all you see is the green backs, you know, the, all the green in the back, and then you see the big gold dome, and it really contrasts a lot. It looks nice. It looks yeah. pretty. Yeah, you see the green hills uh, behind the building. It's pretty awesome. Behind the gold dome, that's what I mean. Yeah, behind the gold dome, so a lot of contrast. you see that gold dome from, it, from like far, far away. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Uh, the front door looks like it's open. Is this going to be one of those capitals where we can walk right in the front? One of those rare capitals? We'll know shortly, because that's where we're going. We are here at the front door. Can we just walk in? Oops, I, wait. I mean, they have the door open for us. Wow, they just walk right in. How awesome. Oh yeah, we're um, 
I think I've got not quite three quarters. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Here's all of them right here. If you notice, we had the pictures of all of them. All right. There you go. All right, as you walk in the main hallway here, first thing you see, Abraham Lincoln. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? Heading up the stairs to see the dome. This is where the House of Representatives do their work. And they have a nice lobby out here. This is the executive chamber. That's the governor then, right? It would seem so. It just doesn't look like an office that's being used right now, though. Look, there's like nothing on the desk. I don't think they're... And all the furniture is really, really old-fashioned. They're not working in the Capitol today. Oh, well, okay. I don't know. Yeah, I nobody expect, is. I would expect it to look... They, mu they must be off right now. This painting is of the Battle of Cedar Creek, right? Uh, yeah. At the bottom of Cedar Creek. Right. This was painted in 1870. It is 20 feet long and 10 feet high. That is a big painting. Yes. Painted by Julian Scott. Yeah, that is something. This is the room the painting is in. It's got its own room. Huh? It has skylights too. Yeah. It's a shame there's not a lot of sun out today to come through those skylights. <laughs> yep, the weather is not cooperating. This is the Senate chamber. It's much smaller than the House of Representatives. What'd you say? No, can't see the dome. Yeah. Apparently we cannot go up to the dome because this is the stairway and it is roped off. Did she say why? No, she just said no, you cannot. She just said no, we can't go to the dome. Yes. Boo, Vermont. Exactly. We talked to the security guard and apparently you can't see the dome because they don't have it visible. Yeah. Yeah, there's just, it's, it's, uh, there's no way to see it from the inside. Yeah, that's just, that's I wonder just why. Exactly Yeah. That statue on top, that was... Uh, the statue of Agriculture. Yeah. Would that be Lady Agriculture? I don't know. In the paper it just said uh, Statue of Agriculture. It just said what? It just said the Statue of Agriculture. No, oh, there it is then. Here's another business destroyed by the flood. Closed until further notice. We love and miss you, Montpelier. And it looks like they're cleaning up. Last thing they want is some more rain. Let's see, look. They're all like, they've got a fundraising thing for all these businesses that have gone out of business well, that have had to close down. Yeah. Yeah, it wrecked the town pretty good. Well, hopefully they'll get enough money. And, and what are they getting? Reopen. What are they getting today, which they don't want? <laughs> more <laughs> rain. <laughs> They're drowning here. Well, it's trying to really rain now. The only place we could find open is this Sarducci's. Everybody else is closed because um, flood damage. All right, inside we go. Looks like we got some seats at the bar. So, seats at the bar, that's where we're going. We ordered an appetizer. It is calamari. It's $12. Well, well. I'm fairly good enough. It's pretty good. Oh, good. Our food is here. I'm having a veal parmesan. It's $17. What do you got? Uh, Capellini del Mare. And I hope I didn't butcher the, the name of that. But anyway, it's angel heart pasta with, with shrimp, um, with tomatoes and olive oil. 
in uh, in marinara sauce. Okay. And it's seventeen dollars also. Yes. yes All right. Yes. We'll see if these are any good. They look good though. They smell awesome. They do. Well, the verdict is it's pretty good. We rarely eat Italian food. <laughs> We're not huge fans of it, but uh, this is not bad. This is good. This is good. No, I really like it. Like I do like pasta. There? I just don't eat it a lot because it's not good for you. But. <laughs> All right, the bill is sixty-eight eighty-eight. Fourteen of that was Jack Daniels, though. So it's not bad. Yeah, it's and you're gonna have leftovers. I ate all mine. But Is that what you said? Sixty-eight dollars. All right, everyone. So that's the end of this video. We are heading to New Hampshire. Okay, where in New Hampshire? New Hampshire next. Right. Several towns. We will be visiting several towns in New Hampshire, including the capital city of Concord. So uh, that's up next. We'll see you then.